Hello everyone, today I'm here with Sue Virtue, the producer of Sherlock and my mum, and I will be asking her fan questions from you and me. Emily asks, what are some of the bigger challenges that come with producing a show like Sherlock? Budget. Well, first of all, we need to get the script, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> so we need to nag Dad a bit for that. Um, it's, it is a huge show, I think, to make. Uh, but it's enjoyable. Uh, Victorian was quite hard, because everything was Victorian, and quite tricky to shoot that in London. Boris asks, how will you integrate this episode with the time present? This is, because it's a special, it's in its own little bubble. So it's not actually connected. Does the new clip play homage to Jeremy Brett Sherlock intentionally? It does, actually. Um, I think the music, as far as I know, is just when you come off the Baker Street sign, is the same music as the Jeremy Brett one was. Miriam asks, why was Benedict Cumberbatch the very first choice of Sherlock? And what was the key moment you knew that Martin Freeman was the only choice for Watson? Well, the thing is, I hadn't actually read any Sherlock books at the time that we were casting. It's, a, it's an admission. Um, so I had to talk to Dad about what Sherlock would look like. And so he told me the kind of um, build. He had to be tall. Um, actually, a big nose. Bendy doesn't have a big nose. Um, rake thin and we were watching atonement at the time and we thought he could be it and also he's a big stunning actor so he was the only one we saw and we'd seen some brilliant watsons and then we did a sort of um um chemistry casting and so we had benedict there and i think we saw about three different people to see who was who was getting together and then when martin came in and he was reading with benedict and Stephen and mark just leaned over and they went that's our show that was it Colleen asks, have you ever considered filming an episode at an international location? Oh, desert, some desert island or... Um, obviously in my dreams I have. I think in practice you've got to... It's got to fit the story. If there's suddenly a story where we have to go to New York or something, uh, yes, but the story has to come before the location. Rachel asks, what was your favourite episode in the series and why? Oh, favourite is last bow because you're in it. Um, I think as a total episode, no, that is my favourite bit because it always makes me cry when I see you in it. You're in it. Um, I think as an episode as a whole, I would think probably Scandal. Yeah, is I mean, complete. Yeah. Is Watson's moustache real? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> just not my question. <laughs> I don't believe it's 100% real, no. Laxan asks, will we see some of Mary's background and will this affect her and John's relationship? I don't know. You see, Stephen and Mark are always quite funny about backstory and background. Their theory is, and Dad's Stephen, Dad, um, theory is that you don't know that much about people's backstory when you first meet them. Um, even your best friend, I always say to you, well, where did they go to school before now? You never know where they came from. Um, and so they tend to kind of bring the backstory in as and when you need it for the, for the story, as opposed to sort of laying it all out in front and going, this is what they were, this is where they went to school. So I'm not sure. Saskia asks, is there ever a chance of a spin-off Lestrade's on the case? Well, we're always talking about the fact that Lestrade is a very good cop, and if Sherlock wasn't around, he'd have his own show. No, that's definitely the opposite. He's a terrible cop. Oh, well, he's all right. He does his best. He wouldn't solve any crimes, but he does his best. He's a good cop. cop. It's just that Sherlock's better. <laughs> he is a good cop. Elizabeth asks, how does your role of producer influence the end result of the show? And have you ever wanted to take a crack at a different role in the show's development? Well, you could actor. be an actor, I'd yeah. I'd be a brilliant actor, wouldn't I? You could be no, Mrs. Be Hudson. Awful. I've been an awful actor. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. And thank thanks you for watching. Goodbye.